Good morning. Just want to give you a small tour of my bird cage. I got this done from a dealer who actually specializes in bird cage uh, from Gujarat, that is Rajkot, northern part of India. His name is Mr. Bakul. I uh, connected with him via Facebook. So I, uh, I sort of asked many questions uh, because I don't want a commercial product but uh, rather I needed a good quality long lasting product someone who knew about birds who are passionate about birds because in the market you see a lot of cages just for fancy reasons you have cages in the shape of houses and palaces which is most of the spaces which are not used by your birds so that was the reason I wanted a cage which is practical enough for the birds so that they have more spaces other than looking very fancy so I came across this guy, uh, he was very passionate and he said he started as a bird lover and then uh, for his own necessity he started a cage, uh, building its own cage and then it became his own profession. So, so this is what it is, uh, the dimensions of the cage is around uh, 3 feet across, left to right and then around 4.5 feet on the height. The depth of the cage will be around 2 feet across in, inside and the cage is made out of aluminium uh, because I live in a coastal area so rust is a major factor which I need to look upon so it is aluminium hopefully it shouldn't rust hopefully and it is all grills are all powder coated I don't see any shipping or anything else it is of good quality so it took some time for the cage to reach me from uh, northern part of India I live in the southern part but it's worth the wait so it came along with uh, four purchase, the bigger purchase, and then a uh, smaller swing, and then a two sort of hard or the rough purchases as well. Uh, apart from that, I have my uh, own ladders from the older cage. So I have two ladders on the bottom. I'm still trying to make my cockatiels to use the lower part of the cage. I know that is a difficult part but I'm still wanted to use because I want them to use the whole cage as such. So maybe a bird bath here, maybe uh, you can help me with the comments. And other few items like the water bowl, the feeding bowl and this is the perch I have. This is a hanging sort of perch which I got from eBay. So this they quite like, this one. And uh, this is also, I, I needed a flat surface as well. This also was from eBay. So that's about my cage. So this has a, for the nesting box, I have two openings. One over here and the same way one around that side as well. So this cage is just overlooking my uh, small garden. So the cocktails have some natural light, which is very, very essential two openings one large door another large door in the bottom so this is the whole setup it comes with a iron sort of movable trolley the wheels are good quality it's very easy to move the cage for the cleaning and it does come with an aluminium tray I would say so just to I have some newspapers placed so that I can keep this area clean and I can clean them maybe once in two days or so. Apart from that, I do a deep cleaning of the cage with every bars and spacing. I do a thorough cleaning with a wet cloth. That is maybe three times in a week. So this is how it is. So now the question is, I have the cage ready, I have all the toys, I have all the necessities. Where are my birds? Here they are. My two cockatiels. Steve? This is Steve. He is a male and this is Jim. So here they are. So they have the cage but uh, every morning they have a free fly around this place. So on my room, this particular hall of ours, uh, they have a free flight. They just go around and flap their wings because they need the flight for the good health. So that is what they are. So they do that. So this is, this is their favorite purchase perch of them all so this is their favorite place the ceiling fan so all right thanks for watching uh, any comments or anything which you would like to share or add to make my cage better for my birds and for us please 
leave in the comments below and by the way this is my first video log ever so i'm bound to make a lot of mistakes please bear with me and also please bear the surrounding sounds it's a peak time here so you'll have a lot of traffic all right thanks for watching have a great day everyone